Hello, hello. J-Pop is back with more of the Darkest Dungeon. Alright. We're almost done. We've almost made it to the end. The end is near. Now, um, I did go and find out what these uh, Crimson Court trinkets, the bottom half, what it is. And what it is, is that there's a set. I imagine that, um... I imagine that there's only two per um, per job class, and to get the bottom bonus, you need to have the set. That's my understanding of it. So maybe we'll work on getting them. I'm not too sure. It might have been cool before the color of madness, but maybe the color of madness is superior? Question mark. I don't know. So. That explains that, and I finally know the answer. Um, we have people getting fixed up, so that's good. Uh, we have more space, so do we have a level 3? No, so I don't care. Uh, any trinkets that may have some value? No. I'll grab that one. Just because I don't know if I'll lose healing trinkets or whatever. We have the exhausting belly of the beast. Um, I don't think there's any trinkets here that I care for. Hero's ring. And that's pretty much all there is. All right, so if we're gonna take on the belly of the beast. What should we have? Vestal Jester. Hands down. It's long. We need... Um... We will need stress healing in this. Something with good campfire. What has good campfires? Ooh, you got a disease, but I have no room left. Um. How about a shield breaker? I have another shield breaker, right? Yeah. And Highwayman? Would a highwayman work? Highwayman could work. Um Tons of power, can hit different ranges, we have bleed capabilities, healing stress heals, sure. I don't know why I check here, their, their skills are probably all set. What does the Jester have? Harvest, Finale, okay. Camping skills should also be good. Alright, let's check out these trinkets. For the Vestal... Ah, see, it does light up. I feel the whispers in my mind. That's probably the hint that it's the same one. The last treasure of a king. Okay. So if I have the set together, she could do melee attacks. And... And some healing. Minus 50%, 15% virtue chance though. And you know what? I don't really like that. 
I don't want to get rid of the stun chance if I can help it. So, Ancestor Scroll, but I think I will refrain from Junia's head. I don't think the extra stress it will be worth it. Jester has no Crimson Court. Um, lead Dice, I don't think we'll need the map. Getting a surprise with the Lantern could be beneficial. Not against the quote-unquote boss fights, but against the regular enemies could help a lot. So I'll leave that open. Shield Breaker. Broken and Beautiful. I don't think these are Crimson Court. They're Crimson Court-esque. Max HP and max, pr max Protection. Which is nice. But these set trinkets suck. It's like Diablo all over again. All right, you're gonna get the pen. And the candle? Let's see, um, do I put the musket ball on you? See, I like the bleed and repost. See, that's such a strong one. If I decide to do a range attack, that would be good. But... I like the shield breaker having power. And for you, I think we will hold on to the lantern and get the surprise. I'll probably be using a melee skills more. Uh, point blank is technically ranged. But with the shield breaker, he usually ends up getting flip-flopped in some form or fashion, so he most likely won't point blank in a lot of situations. So I'm okay with him having the lantern, and you can have the crit. Crit's up to plus 20%. Darkest dungeon. Exhausting. Activate one locust beacon. Yes, I understand. All food. Um shovels. A stack, a stack. Three stacks of torches. Um I don't think we need shovels in the darkest dungeon. Herb, since we got a spot already. Um. Do I want to bet bleed or blight? Blight. We're not going to gain anything out of this because it's the darkest dungeon. And let's go!
The interminable stone holes are but an antechamber. The creature is vast beyond measure and must be battled from within. Step over the threshold and let the terrible truth worm its way into your mind. The Gateless Gate. A maddening aperture to realms beyond human understanding. This place is ugly. Alright, the simple path is to keep working your way to the center. If you know this third mission, you will be teleported randomly to several locations around the dungeon. You want to work towards the center. I think with the center you go upwards? We'll work on this back line. Press Ow. Give them no quarter. Stun has a good chance. We'll stun you. Or not. Bleed, what's his bleed? Four, could add another four, be eight. We could get a repost. Ah, let's just do this. Stress heal's not necessary. Buffs might be better, but getting him to bleed might kill him. Alright. That worked out grand. We're going to get a group heal now. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Speed bus, hopefully we go first. Gosh, darn it. Can we not kill you? We'll try this. So we can do this. And for once, we get a point blank. Their formation or not. I saw that having more crit. This dungeon is very, um, it's gigantic when you don't exactly know where to go, but I'll admit that even my first try, it was almost pretty clear where you needed to go. Now, I don't know if I need to go down or across. I'm going to go across. Yeah, but when you got teleported several times, and it's gonna happen, there's no way you could avoid it. Alright, we have to get rid of this mammoth cyst. I think this white cell, um, isn't worth trying to take down. Eleven to twenty-one. That has a chance for an extra 15 blight. Blight is 50%. 34% chance to crit. Same on both. Well struck. Crit blight. Is that a shuffle? It tried to. Alright, I'll take the dodge. Healing's not necessary. Uh, stun? Below a coin flip? 6 to 10. 10 to 18. We'll do dots. More dots. Bleed. 
bleed would be good. Buff. We'll buff everybody. This isn't particularly the fight where you need to stress heal. Um... Yeah, our group. It's all the other battles that you really want to um, stress heal. Although I probably will do it here. Grip lead. Executed. The dodge. What's the debuff? Minus the damage. We have plenty of these, so we will use them. And I lied about the stress healing. I think a little bit is warranted. Group heal, everybody's hurting just a little bit. Get the blight. Let's see. 14 damage. We get a crit with a point blank. Oh, 20. It probably won't kill still, so. The ground quakes. Okay. Well, he took his turn to self heal. Alright, we'll take healing turns. It's no damage on our skin. No damage for two turns, just the one. Uh, we'll keep up the crits. We'll try to end this right here, right now. Alright. Everybody needs healing, but you really need it. Let's get repost up. Precision and power. Crits are definitely helping with the stress. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless and this teleports us into a battle. But nothing all that heavily threatening. He doesn't have the repose stuff, but it's counted as a new battle. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Ouch. All right. The good news with the Jester and these teleports is that the buffs stay. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Impressive. Twenty damage. All right, he is dead. Group heal? All right. Perfect. And... Confidence hoping for a crit and stress relief. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. See, so yeah, now that we gotta go... It, the teleports kind of show you the edges of the map. And there's a, there's a spot south somewhere. Which pretty much led to you want to get to the heart of it. So we're gonna press on and try to reach the center. And here's another one of these things, so we're back at it again. 
Really the same strategy as before. Stun a turn? I'll take it. Leads, dots are the way we're gonna go with this. I don't think killing this ultimately does anything good. I think it gets basically resummoned. So, with anything that gets resummoned, you almost just kind of have to deal with it. A singular strike. The stun goes away because he has two turns. So that will continue to be beneficial to us. And we get an early teleport out. This will harvest. The blood quickens. You know what? As the fiend falls, we're gonna do that. Faint hope blossoms. Are you bleeding enough to die? Yes, you are. Of skill and purpose. Stun? Nope. No perfect round. Healing. Um, damage, might kill, long shot. We'll go with the stun. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. I didn't know if he'd go first. Oh, his speed is up to 10. Alright, he had a shot. We down in the center. See, we're down south. We're in this corner of the realm. So everything kind of points towards the center. You can kind of figure that out, no problem. Um, let's go this way. Alright. Running into another one of these things. Same deal. Now, when you get teleported, they remain at the same life as when you last fought them so if you happen to get teleported back to another spot um that you've been before it it allows you to continue the fight so you can keep pressing on doing this over and over again so there's a lot of repetition built into this by default Um... I got an idea. Oh. Well, this does move you back. Alright. It's time for a finale, baby. I'm gonna get it. Everybody needs a little eleven. Fuck. Well, you get to finale something. No crit. No kill. A devastating blow. We'll get that kill. We'll get a repost up. Wow. Turns. 
weeks. Too bad the stress relief was only on him. We do have plenty of campfires. Can't forget that. Let's make sure we get the kill. He did a lot of damage. Bleed, he's dead. All right, I'll take and a heal. Perfect. The death by inches. This expedition at least promises success. Well, this put us right here. We'll pass this battle. So I guess that's a plus. Unless I've been going kind of the wrong way. I thought I went to the... R if that's the beginning... See, I thought we went to the right. I am slightly confused right now. That looks like Blight. That is Blight and a Mark. Six Blight? Holy crap. Oh, thank God it wasn't like a crit. Um... I think the damage is warranted here. You will get an anti-venom soon. And that is right now. You're already marked, so... I think a repost actually suits you well. Four damage. Eight bleed. Could kill. Let's see. Dodges. Alright, let's get this kill. Close enough. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Alright. Not enough bleed, thank you, Darkest Dungeon. Um, Stress isn't mounting that heavily. His speed is quite high. And we'll believe, we'll believe in how fast these guys are. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Um, see if that's the bottom, I think we will go downward. Across? Yeah, we go across. Each path, for the most part, has two layers. See, that leads back. This might be the center. There are usually two walls of those of these things. Light with a crit. Beautiful. More crit bleeds. 
beautiful. Uh, keeping the bus on these guys. I mean, your your bleeds are wonderful and helpful, but so are crits. So are the crits. Take him down. Stun would be risky. Let's not do that. Let's do the responsible thing. And we're taken out of there. We're over here now. Fun. It's taking us all over the place. Are you dead? Yes, you are dead. Jolly good. I, I like this healing. Get everyone pretty topped off. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. And uh, it's not enough. He'll get a turn, but then die, so. And his only chance to do something good or bad to me. And he fails. Get him to within four. That's a bit much. Go, Vestal, go! Alright. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Bet you'll go run into the battle in the middle. Yeah, this is probably the center right there. I picked a good team. This is a great team. We're gonna do great. A time to perform beyond one's limits. He hasn't moved one person yet, which I'm thankful for. Oh, baby! Eight. Jeez. I'm gonna set up for a finale. Let's do this. Alright, you say you turn to heal, and actually I think that's more beneficial to me. This is buff. Extra damage. I think that's more beneficial to me than him doing damage. Let's go! Yes! First crit finale I've seen. He's got lots of bleed. Let's point blank. Maybe I should attack him. Because he can still teleport us out. But he didn't this turn. Hoot. Uh, healing to top off. Stun and let's heal. All right, Trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. And I think this is over. I lie. 
try right there. Sure, let's go right there. Well, there's another one of these things. Wherever we have to go, wherever the center is. I don't think it's straight up. I'm 99% I'm sure that it's not straight up. No crit! Just regular bleeds, no crit bleeds. Alright, crit heals. Yeah, buff. We're not going finale just yet. His HP is a little high and we haven't been critting, so... It's not like we're close. But if the crits start now, we will get there. Well, all in all, pretty successful turn for us. Crit Blight. Crit Bleed. Alright, alright. He's taking a turn to heal. He's taking a turn to heal. Although I think him healing the uh, white cell... I think him healing is probably his best move. Considering. Um. Let's make sure we end this. I was thinking of stress healing, but. Oh. That's not enough damage. Ooh, 17, Judgment if it lands, will kill him. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. And we get teleported out. Where the fuck are we with this far back? Oh, suck a dick. We are hella far back. And not along any of the path that we've been at before. He's already attacked. The Jester can go, that'd be nice. Alright. At least our stress and our health is looking good. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Now I am sure there's one of these cyst things right there. Here we have a regular fight. Glad 
I got the anti venom. Um, we'll do the normal approach, which is take out the middle. Sad he got his turn off, but glad he missed. Cinco Trope. Yeah, I hope I have enough torches as well. I brought three stacks. Um, we will see if it's enough. I think so. Also, I, get, I still have four campfires. He's not dead. He will have a turn. We should kill him. Hmm. Ba ba ba. Eh. A little bit of healing, not too bad, much, but all right. We'll top everybody off. I don't think that's. I think that's one short. Darkest dungeon. Ooh, alright. That's worth it. Ouch! That did a lot of damage. Yeah, without preventing teleports, that is true. The only thing that's, um... Really beneficial is... Understanding the dungeon layout and then being able to uh, retrace the paths that Seize this that moment. you've been before, Push on to the task's end. so that you don't lose torchlight walking through. Oh man, there are a lot of fights along this path. Ooh, ooh, man, I will anti venom that for sure. That hurts. But I mean, it's hard to prevent the teleports. It just happens. Because if I'm right, the white blood cells. Don't put them at death's door. Thank you. Yes, you can. You can lose a lot of food walking the same way. That is absolutely true. The good news is, I can do... Uh, it's because of the mark. This is our first first death door. He is dead, but he is not dead. All right, he's gonna die. They're both dead. All right, he's dead. Perfect. That's true. They they don't teleport early on. I I have seen early teleports, but not first turn teleports, as you say. Poor highwayman, just getting beat down. We, we got the heal off now. If only he gets his move off first. Shit. Alright. I don't mind them spreading damage. As victories mount, but I know this monster's so dead? Resistance. I think he's dead. And it's just the white blood cell that's left. Or the white... Yeah, white blood cell. I know there's a path here, so we're gonna go up this way. Ah, oh, shit! There's one this way, too! Can I go back? Fuck, it's probably not worth it. Should've just gone across. 
No, it's not really suited uh, for both targets. Vestal, because I believe in the Vestal more than the um, the uh, Occultist. And the Jester, because of a stress healing, is because the the dungeon is long and exhausting. It, um, the stress heals, I think, are uh, very important. Clarified in a single strike. We can wallop this fight. I'm halfway through my anti venom. Plague Doctor would have been nice. Things that attack both the back, uh, the third and fourth position. And I didn't really think about that when building the uh, the team. Both need healing. Do I split the heals or do I just heal one? I think I just heal the one. Yeah, Plague Doctor. Because, I mean, if you can attack the back two rows, you just constantly do that he'll never be able to teleport you um do i dare say that the flagellate reign of blood would have been best here as well do i go for the crit damage he's already got plenty uh one turn blight Point blank could bring us to victory. We have 14 damage. It brings us to 30. I don't think we can do 30 with the crit. Let's give it a try. 25. Yeah, double stun. I know it's limited now, but it just almost makes your decisions easier. Like... Well, I can't do this move anymore, so... Damn it. Alright, at least it's not Death's Door. Um, he is not doomed to die in this circumstance. Nine. Thirteen. We need three, so... Alright, we got the bleed. All right, we got the heal. And we got you. Crits for the lols, or not. Their cursed champion falls. All right, we can make it up to this room. And I am going to take one turn to campfire. For food, we just need the HP. We don't really need stress relief. Um, I don't think we could be surprised in the darkest dungeon. Um, we don't really need stress relief. Accuracy and crit. We'll give it to you. I don't think we'll do bless. Well, accuracy and dodge. Unparalleled finesse. We're definitely going with that. And you know what? I'll give you that three food. That makes me feel better. Uh, I'm not point blanking a whole lot. No surprise in darkest dungeon. Sweet. So I'll, I don't have to waste it on a sanctuary. Um, bless. Accuracy and dodge. Uh, 
You already have accuracy. You have dodge. I could give you extra dodge. We'll stack it in one spot. And two. One companion cannot be marked. Well, it looks like we will do some stress relief. 24? Oh, is, is it because of the Ancestor Scroll? 33% stress skills while camping. Sweet. It's totally useless there. No surprises? Ah, uh, you know, I haven't seen a surprise. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Yeah, the scroll and diary. Both of them. Yeah, and this is just you you left. As soon as I killed the thing, he teleported us out of there. That's why I wanted to go on this path, so I wouldn't have to really fight. And fight a big battle. Did you just get two turns? Decimated. Alright. GTFO. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Now, where is the center? Is it there? See, it looks like it's there. Not there. I may just want to go straight down. Uh... See, that's one of the teleportations. You know, we'll give it a shot and go right here. Oh! Torment, Stinger Shot, Doomsday. So this doesn't have revelation? I hope not. Um, 100 hit points at buffs. We'll get crits. Like so. He can be blighted. He has no armor or protection. So that's the move I choose. Stun. Stun? I'll take a coin flip. Less than a coin flip. But if he only has one attack, it would have been beautiful. Sweet. It's almost like I stunned him. Get him. Get him out of here. Perhaps the turning point. This is it. It's the last one. We still got buffs carrying over from the last battle. Super sweet. We could still be teleported out. Um. Shoot. That's not the right move I wanted. I want him to go back one. Oh well. And we'll heal. He likes to focus on someone. Several hit points. Would mean a lot. Dodges also help. I will split the healing between you two. Let me go get that crit blight. Alright, I'll take a healing turn. Oh, poop. Here we go.
Bleed? Alright. You're dead, sweet. I should go after you. No crit, which means you'll get one attack. Sweet. Resisting that poison was big. Ouch. Stress healing does nothing, attacking him does nothing. Alright. One friggin' hit point. He's marked. So what do I do? Do I heal and take the damage? Quest location, all right, so. We have our destination in, in sight. We've already started fighting this one, so we will go this way. It's just you left, alright. Picking on him. He gets a move right off the bat before the whole thing begins. Interesting. Not that it's really a big deal. Please, Vestal, move. You know what? I'll take one turn to make sure that happens. Eradicated. We still have buffs? No, we don't. All the camping buffs are gone. We should camp. Right? A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Oh, I'll take the HP. Alright. Same buffs. Except I think I buffed wrong. I think I gave him the tiger's eye last time. Um, whatever. Because you got marked and it was kind of scary, I'm going to do that one. <laughs> the magic is struck. A blazing star is born. Ooh, a stun. There. At least you can't be marked. <laughs> it came into play! The most useless camping skill in the game came into play. I can't believe it. I am out of anti-venom. I know I have one left. But I'm basically out. Sweet. Well, the crit right there almost means next to nothing. Uh, you are not dead. Let's get a repost. That's not enough damage, is it? Fuck. I want a finale. Harvest is the best, is the smarter bet. Because I can. Alright, at least you got a kill out of it. Don't stun her! I need to heal! Fuck! I 
think I'll just go and end this fight. I don't think I can mess around. Oh, I did get a heal. Oh, sweet. Alright, back at it again. And the cool thing is... Wow, they really do get a turn first. The Bleed and Blights remain, which is huge. Another reason why the Plague Doctor is so good. Especially now, since the Plague Doctor does way more Blight damage. Stun would be big. I worry about you, though. Eh, fuck it. Darn it! Right. The promise of safety. Ouch, that hurt a lot. Thankfully you dodged it. I was thinking of going finale, but I decided not to. If he doesn't heal him, he's dead. Alright, or if he goes first, he's dead. Sweet. You didn't teleport us out of here. This thing is over. Over! We can get out of here. Imposter syndrome. I hate that Ruse Explorer is useless. Fairweather fighter. It may be useful. I don't know. 100% is pretty tricky. At last, the twisted heart of the world is laid bare. For sword or supplication all right you can get rid of your disease you have imposter syndrome right yeah we can get rid of you good on dodgy fragile heroes heroes like grave robber what what is What's good? Oh, fair. Oh, okay. Fairweather fighter. Okay, now I'm catching up. Yeah, that's true. Because if they almost never get hit, they're always up there. Um, it has its place. Somebody else, yeah, you. And that's all that. Alright. Any level threes? No, no level threes. Actually. Yeah, I got some of you guys that need to go in here. It's weak. It's up there. 125. I would not have made it made it in stagnant. I also have way too many bodies in here. I would have never made it. 
Um, I have beaten, played and beaten the game before, but I, I played under the, uh, the Color of Madness patch, which is what we're on, and the Crimson Court. So, I also didn't do the Crimson Court to its completion, because I decided to do that one with a finished file, which was a mistake. By the way the Crimson Court works, it's like, you need to start a new game with it, you really do. Um... But, uh, yes, that's why I got you, because of that skill. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. It was just trying to grind to get invitations. It, it was really a bummer, and it, it, it just made me not want to finish uh, the Crimson Court. I like quick reflex plus two speed. I will right, we'll lock that in. All right. Yes, I know. When I saw her, and I was like, I have, I have to have her. She's. I, I need to get her ready for uh, the color of madness. Start doing those runs. Which have been fun, and I, and I understand that they've nerfed it. It basically gets increasingly harder to the point where you cannot have. 600, 1,000 mega long runs, which is a bit sad. Part of the beauty, I think, of it would have been finding the build to really go a huge distance with it. Let's see, what do we got here? I lost one of these, so I'm going to buy these at a, at a principal. You got to one. You got you got to one thousands. What is my highest? It's like three hundred or something like that. Oh no, one hundred eighty-eight. It wasn't that big. I could have sworn I had a little higher than that, but you know, each time I tell the fish story, it's that much bigger. Alright, I don't... I like bleed amulets, so I'll get another one of those. Most of these trinkets are useless, so... Okay! Ooh, you got a disease. Sweet, that's all filled up. Yeah, the changes in it, to limited skills. I mean, it was like that when the Color of Madness patch came out. and I had such a huge trouble with the Countess. And I really think the Countess fight, the first time I did it, it was broken. Um, foreign Virtues, yeah. I really want to try a virtue and you know that's why I have the heroes rings and I'll probably get more heroes rings and the tentacle idol like virtues just allow you to to get over that hump of what you need in a in the fights to keep the stress down to be able to I think it's when you get back up to heart attack, it just gets rid of all the stress and the virtue. I know there's also a time limit on virtues now as well. So, anyways, let's focus on the task at hand. I do plan, I'm going to say this now, I do plan on going to the courtyard. I want to fill this bar up all the way because I want to. I want to try to get as uh, these trinkets um, just for almost a completionist sake. And I think I will do it. Um, that's exactly the team that I ran, uh, Synchro Trope, was Vestal Jester, Shield Breaker, Shield Breaker. Because the Shield Breaker ignoring protection just allows you to have a standard. And Vestal Jester, like, 
Festal's the reliable healer, period, and Jester has the stress relief and the buffs so that with the crits, it keeps the stress down. Like, it just flat out works. And the shield breaker can attack any position. It's suited for so much. So, so much. I truly believe that the shield breaker is probably technically a pay to win <laughs> of all the of all the things in the darkest dungeon it, it is pay to win all right darkest dungeon i pseudo remember how this fight works i know how it ends um So I have a Vestal, Natural Swing, and you're, you're, yeah, it's, it's not all that bad. I'll have to kill off some of you. You're not that special. I'll probably let you die. The team won't work now because of, um, why won't that one work now? Because of tracking shot? Mm. Yes, the flagellant and the healing. I don't need to take Dismiss and Reynold into the end. One, because Reynold's dead. Two, I already have the achievement, so it doesn't matter to me. Um. Do I want to send my bounty hunter in? I love my bounty hunter. Yeah, Bounty Hunter because I have an Arbalist. That's pretty much... That's a given right there. And if that's a given... That team could definitely fight stress without virtue. Especially with the Flagellate. Him being able to... Take away stress in numbers. And redirect it on him and if you get a campfire man that that lash really good if i put him in front he can mark and if i have the hound master i don't think we need to run a stun Hounds Harry actually might work. But, um, I understand where the imperfections are. I know you have to fight and then fight imperfections. And then you fight a big ol' thingy. And it's basically a race to the end. No campfires, so that's not important. I like this team. The Huntsman Core. Corpse. Corporals. Whatever. Alright. I always check this because I'm OCD. Alright. That's fine. I don't need that. Do I really need Target Whistle on you? See, I don't think we will do stress healing in this fight. A self heal is useful. Guard dog might be good. Guard dog might have its place. Yeah. I don't think stun is going to have a place in this fight. Alright. Hold on. Yeah, make sure. I have to make sure it's in the right order. Of course, Vestal, you're that. I'm not going to have the mark on you. The Rattling Flare is also useless. 
Ebola be better? I don't think I, I think I think I'm trying too hard when I look at it like that. I don't think it's that necessary. Not for Not for this party, okay. So Vestal, you can have your scroll and your other scroll. Bounty hunter, you get the pen. Arbalist. What are we gonna do? So we also have you. Healing skills, healing received. Oh. Damage versus bleeding, crit versus bleeding. Accuracy to range skills plus the healing skills. Huh. You could make targets bleed, but it'd be better if other targets help with the bleeding. I think it's going to be more damage centric. You know, I think with the Arbalist, we will... We'll give you the Musket Ball. See, so you're ranged also. What does the Arbalist have? Healing skills, fine. Accuracy and crit versus marked. The endless farm is boring now. It's just kind of like you go through it. To be honest, it's going to be great when I get there and do it. Ooh, bounty hunter. I could give you this. 25% damage and melee skills. That's settled. It's just that... Do I really want the crit all in one spot? No, I want it spread. I mean, having an endless mode, it's exciting, but like, it, it was almost the easiest thing to do. It was the easiest way to expand the game. Accuracy and crit. I want that crit. Accuracy and speed. No, I'm looking at the crit. That's that. Uh, accuracy. Alright. I think we'll go with that. I think I'm settled. This looks good. I think we'll be fine. I don't remember, and it doesn't ultimately matter because I have all the money in Z World. I'll take the Ladarium. Um, over what? The shovels are unnecessary. Four was hey, I can use some heals differently because increased value of buffs now. Now you'll never use some heals because of the hero skills. Yeah. I don't need all this holy water. I do want to bring some torches though. Heck, I'll bring some of them shields. We have one campfire. Why? Holy crap. Alright, there we go. Almost went into the wrong mission. Holy crap. Yes. Alright. I know I don't need those keys. <coughs> I'll save some of those Aegis -E shields. I don't 
don't need the keys. I don't need the cure. I think that's it. Let's go seal our fates. So creeped out. Dot, dot, dot. There's nothing left to say. Actually, there's a lot left to be said. In all my terrible researches, what I sought was a glimpse behind the veil, a crumb of cosmic truth. I found it here, and in that moment of brain-blasting realization, I ceased to be a man, and became a herald, an avatar of the crawling chaos. Do I know about the secret room here? No! Now I'm going to be hitting the W key as I'm walking through every single step unless I already passed it. And, and in that case, you need to tell me and I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Just keep hitting. All right. Life feeds on life. In your petty pursuit of family redemption, you consume those who rally to your cause, and in so doing, you strengthen the thing, accelerating the end. This is as it should be. It is why you are here. Fuck you, Wayne. We're gonna kill you. I'm gonna mash this W key. Chad has asked me to or told me to advise me to Holy shit Proper skills ooh, I'm gonna let the hound master die He's gonna die. I've chosen him to die You have blind fire. Do I let the... See, I may let the Vestal die. I don't want to get rid of this prismatic solidity, but... Stun resistance. Woo. I think I'll let the Vestal die. Because you can blind fire. Because she can blind fire. And he can hit from any position. Yeah. You know what? Ugh. It's at least level four. You know, uh, when you're right, you're right. I hate how like the Houndmaster and the uh, uh, Abomination can't attack in the front row anymore. It hurts. It hurts so much. Oh, I gotta read this journal snippet. Excuse me. A strange note written on bloody human flesh. Wonderful! You examine the ragged piece of flesh. It reeks of sweat and tears. A series of grudge gouges in the skin pulsate and seep blood. They seem to form a pattern. You can just make out the following. We at Red Hood Games are deeply grateful for your support and your time spent in the darkest dungeon. Good luck in the coming battle. One out of twenty-nine. There's twenty-nine of these things. No more. If someone dies earlier, good point. All you'll have is Hounds Harry. I'm gonna make sure you die. Yeah. Right in the middle too. Oh, I just walked right back into the room. And I'm just going to keep hitting this W key now. We are chained here forever, you and I. 
at the end of the world. Free yourself, rouse the thing, and embrace the ineffable cosmic hideousness that lives within us all. Alright, here we go. And to start off with... Let's do this! You still foolishly consider yourself an entity separate from the whole. I know better. And I will show you. <laughs> I know which one you are. Oh, damn it. I could stun these. I could. That was good. All right. Harry has its place. Three damage, bleed. There's gonna be a lot of these things popping up constantly. Almost very Color of Madness esque. So I like this play. If you stay stunned when the bounty hunter attacks, you'll do a lot of damage to him, so... We'll go there. I was hoping for a crit. Well, that kind of sucks. Okay, well, he will die. I'm saving the dog treats for later. I don't think they're necessary right now. If I attack one, we could focus one down at a time. Alright, I've decided to change my approach. You do lots and lots of damage, so I feel like it's wasted unless I hit a specific spot. No, that has to do max damage. Uh, if the crit landed there, it would have, but... Meh. Attack him because he's been stunned and can't have his turn. Ouch! Oh, 
Ouch. Ah, oh, damn. They're just gonna pick on her. Thank you for the crit. Much appreciated. Um, we could stun. Get the one that's stunned because you do bonus damage to them. All right, we got two of them. He still has a turn. I think he'll get his turn no matter what. You have to do three damage, Vestal. Ah, oh, crud. And he might heal, so I can't guarantee that kill, so Hound's Harry. Sweet. Another one of them. Perfect reproduction. Uh, shoot. Yeah, let's get the kill. This is very Color of Madness esque. Still has two hit points left. Let's hope we get you before you had your turn, you jerk. You jerk. If I'm lucky, it crits. Or we could just do him. Shit. I know what this game has decided. The vessel's gonna be fucked up. We got it. We got our ending targets. Of course you'd have your turn first. Well, your speed is actually faster, so... Um... I do want the Vestal to heal. Can we get rid of this bleed? Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. There we go. Alright. Let's bring it on. Or... What the hell?
It's not dead yet or something? Thank you. The flesh is fluid. It can be changed, reshaped, remade. He can be moved. That's okay for him to be in the back. Can't stun. Absolute nothingness. Good stress heal. Good job, team. Alright. Dog tree time. Let's go! You can't hit him from there. I could pull him. And you can shoot the second spot. It only pulls two, right? Pull two. Get over here. Oh, I was about to say, it didn't pull him. Like, he has a 0% chance. Yeah, yeah. What you got, Vestal? What you got? Ooh. It's not the worst. Paranoia is my least favorite out of all of them. Oh, he moves up front. So now that doesn't work. Son of a bitch. Oh, blind fire also attacks those. Fuck. No crits, come on. Because of the randomness I actually think Rally Flare is the best thing to do No stress heal You suck Well you get to do is Mark apparently Got him. Come on, we need that big old crit hit. Ah, you have a 46% chance. Oh, fun. And you can't attack in that position. Ooh. Ouch. Alright, we'll get that all situated. enough bleed. We can do that. Give that to you. It may not be extra damage because of a mark, but at least you can finally hit him. I need to shut my mouth. <laughs> The first crit, when he's no longer marked. Thanks. Stun chance is actually pretty good. Healing's also necessary. We'll do the heal. I don't want a freaking missed stun to bite me in the arse. Ouch. That's okay. 
one freaking hit point. Now that's a lot of bleed. For four turns. That's a hell no. Alright. Nice! It's not gonna, it's gonna let him attack. That's bogus. All right, here we go. It is undying. Oh. Pray it does not take too hideous a form. We have 200 hit points to go through. Why did you heal? Ah, that bleed is plenty. Alright, dog tree. Hit him. Oh, this isn't it. This isn't the end. There's one more after this, right? I effed up. Oh well. You can just heal. Everyone's selfish. Here we go. Part of the world, progenitor of life, father and mother, Damn it. and Omega, our creator. Might as well try to stun. There's no sense in healing. All right. No, oh, all these damn passes. Seven to fourteen, seven to thirteen. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, there's crit, but it's real early on, right? So we go for the speed. Um. Mm hmm. Steady girl for called, we answer. It's, it's too horrible. No! Please, no, I want to live. Oh, the most noble one gets to die. That looks good. Alright, I think we should take the time to mark them. Yes! You get to live! You are definitely dying. Goodbye, Vestal. All 
Alright, now it's a race to the finish. That fucking hurts. You know what? I brought them. I might as well use them. Oh, come on! He's marked! For Jesus Christ! How much stress? 24? It's a lot. Oh! He's no longer marked. Alright. Shut up. You deserve to die too. No! He only has 24 dodge. It's not that much. Two damage left. Not quite a heart attack. You still have one hit point. And a shield. Alright, let's get out of here. Yes! Victory. A hollow and ridiculous notion. We are born of this thing. Made from it. And we will be returned to it in time. The great family of man. A profusion of errant flesh. Multiplying, swarming, living, dying. Until the stars align in their inexorable formation. And what sleeps is roused once more. To hatch from this fragile shell of earth and rock and bring our inescapable end. So seek solace in a manner befitting your lineage, and take up your nugatory vigil, haunted forever by that sickening prose echoing through the infinite blackness of space and time. Ruin has come to our family. And it's done! Once again, the Darkest Dungeon has fallen. Competition fosters skill and confidence all right you have spotted fever and you are fading I don't really care for any of those and we can get rid of that natural eye accuracy versus range skills let's lock that in first Okay. Bonneth and Vatterville. Vat Vatterville was slain by the heart of darkness. We have done it. The darkest dungeon is no more. We have a Plague Doctor and a Man-at-Arms. Do I really want a Man-at-Arms? God damn, Plague Doctor, you fucked up. But I'll take you, Plague Doctor. A better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield.
In fact, there were still a lot of these. Oh, I, I have other plague doctors. All right. Um. No, I'll leave you alone for now. Okay. That is the darkest dungeon. So the game has finally been complete. Um I've be beaten all the bosses. I haven't gotten a crusader level 6, huh? And I've gotten all the trinkets I believe that I would want. What's that? Oh no. Okay. Now, we are not done yet, of course. We have... We have the Color of Madness. And I finally have... My own heroes that I could take in there. And heroes that have quirks and special abilities that I like on them. So, Darkest Dungeon is not over yet. We will be doing some Color of Madness runs. Um, I also think that in between, we will go to the courtyard and pick up some more trinkets. Um, we do... I've got one memory. We need nine more memories so that we can build the mill. Um, heroes no longer suffer from ra random hunger checks. And I thought about it. I really did, but decided against it. Um, having, if I did this throughout the campaign, throughout it, I could have gotten this memory and gone through dungeons without hunger checks. Which would have been great, but also, it's not the biggest of deals. It really isn't. Um, the only thing left is... I mean, with shards, we can get these buffs. If we get the Red Hook um, monument as well. Lots of little things to flesh out. But, the Darkest Dungeon isn't over just yet. How are the games so far? I mean, the games are great, Celion. It's over. We beat the Darkest Dungeon. We're done. So, we just have a lot of fun left to do in the Color of Madness. And a little bit in the Crimson Court. I do want to get some of these, a lot of these trinkets. And kind of see how runs go with them, because they all look really good. No deaths, besides the two you have to in the darkest dungeon, the one that's the two that are required. But we escaped pretty handedly, so we are okay. I am not salty today. <laughs> so the next time we meet, we will do the color of madness. There's nothing else left. It was great to play, you know, I, I guess I do want to end with some comments. It was great to play this under the new patch. I do like the balances that they've made to a lot of the people. Especially the, uh, a lot of the dots. Um, damage over time. The bleeds and the blights, they're stronger now. Also, some of the blights and bleeds, I think bleeds always kind of did, but blights... Um, do more initial damage and that felt better almost very jester-esque why I like the jester medium low medium damage but did bleeds and while the um the plague doctor I still have a plague doctor left right yeah I mean they do 6 damage 7 damage of blight that's a lot of blight Makes it really, really good. Abomination being flexible makes it nice. 
Because nobody really likes using damn occultists. Because their heals, they're just unreliable. When you need them to be clutch, it just sucks. Shieldbreaker, OP. They're pay to win. They are half pay to win. That is my honest opinion. Um, Cause they're strong, and it's all be it, it's it's all around this move. Attacks all positions and armor pierces. What what else is there? Right? It's their best move, hands down. I love the flagellant. Flagellant's really fun, really unique. Um, he was great to play with. I enjoyed every minute minute of him. He's got a lot of versatility. It's really good. A lot of the you can only use once and I'm sad that I could only bolster once and that strategy failed on the damn Countess. I know that they brought out a, a, a patch and I was able to beat the Countess after that. I really do think the fight was bugged beforehand because it just felt like I got crushed really quickly. Like I couldn't do anything about it. Then after that patch came out... Um... I handled it I tried a gimmick which was obsolete because of the patch I tried a gimmick group and it didn't work and then I tried what I would consider a real regular group and it, it worked handedly so you know you guys I don't think I need you guys anymore I mean most of these things aren't really a problem except for the extra stress versus beast or whatever I won't have any of that which will be nice. Ooh. Things like Beast and Mankind. Locations are no good, but monster types. See, Warrens, but Eldritch Hater is good. I'll have to consider that. Anyway. Sorry, I like to ramble at the end of games. Um, any other things? The stealth mechanic is fun. The... The shield breaker, um, the snake battles were fun. Learning about the shield breaker. The trinkets still suck. They rebalanced the trinkets and some of them I can agree with. Um, you know, the Vestal doing, uh... Minus 10% stun skill chance. I'm, it used to be like 30 or something like that. Basically, she could never stun with this thing on. Um... But, like, the cudgel weight, like, I loved as the Houndmaster. I stunned all the things. It did, like, 30, it was, like, 30, 40% stun skill chance. And they took that away. They basically said no. Um, some of them are the same. I don't know. This used to be 20 stun and 40%. Was it 20 blight, 40 stun? Or 40? 40 blight 20 stun whichever it was that used to be stronger and does plus 25 stress now Ooh, they didn't make they made that definitely not as good um plus 30 percent bleed skill i believe that was 20 before so they mess with the trinkets it almost um it it made really some of the trinkets obsolete. It just made them not good. Um, the locket I think was changed. It, it the other locket also. I forget what it was. The blue one, the rare one. I used to use both of these in tandem, and I got rid of it because it was garbage. Now I remember that much. Yes. A lot of the trinkets are still useless. Like, why the hell, you know, if you have the Crimson Curse? It's too conditional. It's too conditional. Wolf's thing. It's nice if they're marked, but it's too conditional. Too conditional. You know. The matchstick is still the most useful one out of all of them. Robo's flag, stun resist, woohoo. You know, 10 dodge, you might as well have the ancestor's coat. They also nerfed the sun ring and the moon ring and the sun cloaks. 
All right, I think that's it. Uh, Synchro Trope, Celion, thank you for stopping by today. We have finished the Darkest Dungeon. There will be c some Color of Madness runs finally. I don't know how long everybody's been waiting for it, but I most certainly have. And we'll get to it next time. I hope to see you all then. Take care.